Hey, 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 you guys, how's it going? It's Clary Berry, and I'm here today to do the Ada Cardano video for the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th of August. <laughs> so how you guys doing? How you liking these, uh, these good positive videos with these all-time highs? I am absolutely loving it. I uh, made a Twitter what do you call it, a tweet the other day about, um, what was it, at 7.24, the last video, I'm like, oh, I think on around the 20th, we're going to have a good breakthrough here, and technically it might have been the 19th, but pretty close to the 20th there. Um, yeah, so good times for Ada. Let's see what's going to happen these next few days. 22nd, eh, it's already half over here. We, um, you know, we've got good energy. It's a Sunday, but we still, you know, I don't think we're going to be losing any ground. There's this great communication we've been talking about. Um, it's like there's a double-edged sword here. And we've been talking about, this is really uh, Ada's ability to cut through the crap, cut through the BS, cut through the FUD. That's how it is. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of divine timing here, but again, our understanding of what Ada can do and Ada, you know, again, when you have Mercury conjunct the sun, the natal sun, this is just getting started on the 22nd. So again, you may not be feeling this great energy, this, you know, cause eight, you know, we have, that's, that's again, it's always ma mastery. It's always, um, accomplishing stuff, getting stuff done. And so again, this day is the start of this aspect. So there's going to be some even more clear communication, even more cutting through the FUD, cutting through the BS. And the news about ADA is spreading even more. Again, starting here on the 22nd. So that's a great reason to get excited. Another reason to stay excited about ADA is that it's Virgo season, 23rd, finally, now we have Virgo season. So the energy is shifting. I've been talking about that on the 23rd. Um, back to the 22nd here, uh, we have Mercury trying, this is the peak of Mercury trying natal Pluto. We've been talking about this all across the board. Deep communication, deep conversations, deep, um, this is about the intent deep, deep, deep intention. That's part of the reason, if you guys notice, why Ada, why Cardano is doing so freaking well right now is because of that deep intent, that deep purpose that it's been latching onto is really, it's really um, jiving here with the Mercury trinatal Pluto that, that we're having here. And all this great deep Pluto energy and Mercury energy, again, the understanding across the board, if you've been watching the past couple weeks, we've been talking about this deep communication with Pluto and Mercury, um, interacting with each other. And it's, you know, it's given me chills. I get chills again. This is really good for crypto in general, but definitely good for Ada here. The conversations, they may get fiery, you know, they may really get people excited and that is what we want. That is what we need. So welcome to Virgo season. For Cardano. So on the 24th, we have the start of Mercury in conjunct natal Uranus. Um, all of this knowledge, guys, all of this learning, we are doing something with. We can basically do miracles here. Okay. We can basically do miracles here. Um, this energy, again, is just getting started. So it's going to peak a little bit later, but it's going to bring some good. It's going to build up to be able to bring some, some good and some healing energy that I think the world really needs. The world really needs it. And it's a good way. Again, I always have said this in the past, but like with Ada here, it's so attractive because of the, again, the intent, the purpose, the caring side of it. Again, especially right now, that is attractive. That is attractive right now, even to people who don't normally care about giving back to the world. So it's kind of one of those things Well, some people just want to be able to say that they, you know, are doing something good. And even if this is the only thing they do good all week for humanity, you, they can still feel good about investing in ADA. Okay. And that is powerful because people do want to feel good. I get chills again. People do want to help even if they don't normally, you know, even if normally their energy is sucked up in themselves, we've got some healing energy. We've got some going deep energy. And this is resonating with people, okay? It's going to be resonating even more, all right? 
So now the 24th is also the start of Mars square natal Saturn. So that energy is going to be balancing out some of this other energy. Okay, so we might have some wild Uranus, you know, uh, excuse me, it was Mercury in conjunct natal Uranus, you know, that's pretty well going up, you know, as we learn, as we grow, and with this new, fresh, exciting, you know, it's like everybody's excited about what Cardano can do, and people are talking right now, and, and people are buzzing about it, but there's also this energy where it's a little bit limited because of this Mars square natal Saturn, okay? I don't think Mars square natal Saturn is going to be too bad, though. I really don't think it's going to be too bad. It's going to be slightly keeping a cap on things, st again, starting on the 24th here. So, um, but we also have Sun, Sesquic, Quadrant, Natal, Pluto, which is peaking on the 24th, okay? And that might be a little bit more issues, okay? 24th for Ada, we've got some issues coming through. Like I said, Sesqu uh, Sun, Sesquic, Quadrant, Natal, Pluto, it's outside influences. Again, it's, 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 shadiness out 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 there you know and it'll go down in history uh we'll, we'll see you know who was trying to to keep ada from the people okay so the 24th you know maybe take a little you know it might i don't know that mercury and i hate you know it when there's like a bunch of aspects and they're 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 uh they're conflicting because this mercury in conjunct natal uranus even though it's just an in conjunct a little bit more of a minor aspect because it's Uranus, it could really pop through. Um, I'm getting kind of a waiting though. It's kind of, there's an internal waiting aspect. So I think that, you know, again, even though largely we're gonna be doing pretty well and holding some ground, possibly still going up, just maybe not super, super fast, uh, probably sideways, probably not, pro probably a little bit in the red, maybe for the 24th. 25th should be good. Peak of Mars, trying natal pluto again talking about that that natal pluto um this is good yeah after a couple of days of being meh you know a little a little down a little not so great we're, we're getting our fire back we're getting our juju back here for the 25th with this mars trying natal pluto pretty good stuff there pretty pretty feel good again kind of like we're staying in tune with where we need to go what we need to do and it's all falling together and again, there's still that deep Pluto, you know, transformative, really, really deep, and, and especially with the monetary, you know, aspects as well. Very, 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 very deep. Okay, so Mercury square Saturn peaking on the 25th as well. Um, this could be, again, some issues. Yeah, where it's going to be blunted. All the good, all the good stuff, you know, eh, maybe a little bit blunted because of these more negative issues. We're sharp. We're on our toes. We're, 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 we are intuitive and we are, um, having this mental kind of clarity, but there's still issues. There's still issues like, oh, we're just waiting on people. We're, you know, there's something there. People have blinders on. People are only seeing what they want to see. We're waking. We're still, there's still some of the elements of waiting for people to wake up, but then, guys, 25th, 25th is going to be big because, okay, we already had one positive aspect with Mars trying natal Pluto that we had Mercury square Saturn, which is kind of a meh, maybe a sideways. But then we have this great Venus square natal Pluto, which is intensity. Okay, look at all this action. We got our eight again. This is mastery. This is achievement. This is, um, you know, we're getting to be higher up, getting, getting to climb those stairs a little bit more. This could be life-changing energy here. This is big. It's a lot. Okay, and then we also have actually, let me let me just go back there. This positive aspect is going to be a little bit later. Okay, this might this is what we're going to be gearing up for here. Okay, if the 25th doesn't go quite as high as we wanted to, don't worry. It's because this aspect, this great aspect of Venus square natal Pluto is actually peaking with this life-changing intensity, actually peaking on the 30th. Okay. So on the 25th, we also have the start of Sun conjunct natal Mars. This is um, bringing a lot of new people in. Look, all my new little friends. People are like, whoa, what's going on with Ada? I want to get in on that. So again, this energy is just getting started. Okay. So the 26th, I think we also have kind of... Well, the 26th, we have the end of Mars uh, opposite natal Neptune. And the fact that that aspect is ending is good. 
Okay, I think that's good. That's been kind of this. Do you do you see? There's just a lot of sit around and wait. That I think we're we're nearing an end on that. So that's good. Okay. So you know this is this is these are a couple of days here. This this reading is a couple of days after we just hit an all time high. Obviously, I don't think we're going to super crash right after this, but you know, you can expect a little bit of a correction here, but we still have positive energy and we really are gearing up, gearing up for more, more positive energy here. Okay. The 25th, 24th, we do have some good energy there. Okay. There's some creative, there's some, uh, don't underestimate me. And there's some definitely get excited and celebrate energy despite the fact that we're kind of going to be maybe, you know, maybe more towards 25, 26, um, do a little bit of a, a little bit of a rest. But again, there's still good energy coming in and we're getting ready for something big. So, you know, I, I know that we're all just really watching these videos of when we can best, you know, it's really not for day traders. And of course, this is not financial advice. This is all just my feels, you know, but really it's kind of one of those things where I don't really see it coming down a bunch. So I don't really see it like, oh, you know, let's wait to get in. Let's wait to get in. I see it as this is going to go up even more very, very soon. Very, very soon. I mean, obviously look at the news, look at everything we have coming in September for ADA. If you haven't invested, if you haven't been like me and been investing all summer long, if you didn't watch the long-term video when I posted it, check that out. Um, check out the playlist. Check me out all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. Thanks for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, etc. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.